Obviously, be, living and breathing in an environment that's enclosed all the time is very important to understand what organisms might be or chemicals might be contaminating that. And even when we go to the moon and Mars, it's going to be even more important because we won't have the laboratories on Earth to help us in that quick analysis and understanding. So it's going to be important for us to develop new methods and technologies of real-time analysis. And we actually have some experiments on board where we're looking at just that. So our experience base here on the International Space Station is going to be a stepping stone to what we will need to do to go to the moon and Mars. So I'm looking forward to being part of that as well and hope you will be. And since our station is orbiting the Earth, we live in the vacuum of space, so it's very important to keep our environment inside healthy and safe for us. And so I wanted to talk to you today about a few of the ways that we do keep our environment clean and healthy and safe for us to live in for long periods of time. Obviously, we live up here for several months at a time, and so we care about our air quality. Um, the, one of the ways that we monitor air quality is to use grab sample containers. These little bottles are uh, full of vacuum, which is nothing, and so when we open them up, it takes a, a sample of the, our air, and then we can send those back down to the ground and have them analyzed uh, for any con uh, constituents or components that we might need to uh, get better at cleaning out of our environment or to just ensure that we have a safe uh, air environment. Another little thing that we have is the formaldehyde monitors. These samples measure uh, formaldehydes in our air, um, again, uh, analyzed on the ground. These little sample containers are relatively easy to use. Um, you just have to open a little handle, well, remove the cap first, actually, and then open the handle. And uh, because there's no air inside, the air is sucked inside, and the sample of air is taken at any given point in time. Obviously, I can't open these up since uh, we wouldn't want to contaminate the sample. On, on orbit, we also have ways of measuring some of the components in our air, and I'm uh, going to show you the Volatile Organics Analyzer. This hardware uses uh, gas chromatography and ion uh, mobility spectrometry to analyze different types of components in our air that we might worry about. It has a little air inlet valve, and it can... Uh, measure these components real time and give us some data on board the International Space Station. In, other, in addition to hardware that we use to monitor our air quality, we also have some hardware that uh, is used to clean and filter our air quality on board the International Space Station. Here I am next to the Trace Chemical Contaminants System. This system uses charcoal-based uh, technology and other uh, absorbent technologies to remove components out of the harmful components out of our air. It also has this macro filter on the outside that gets a little dusty. And so, just like on the ground, we have to clean that filter so that the hardware will work better. And just like on the ground, we have a vacuum cleaner up here to clean it with. And, of course, mine gets to float in the air up here, which makes it a little easier to deal with. And, but it just, we just use a vacuum cleaner the same way you would on the ground to suck up the contaminants off the filters, the external filters. And then, of course, the air gets sucked through the hardware and the contaminants uh, are absorbed to various different materials inside the system. We also have a lot of air circulation uh, throughout each of the modules and between the modules and one of the ways that we ensure that the air quality is good within the modules are these HEPA filters. These are microscopic filters that take out very small material uh, contaminants including bacteria. Again they have a large screen on the outside that gets uh, cluttered up with dust and uh, fur balls that we have to suck off with a vacuum cleaner. So that's part of our weekly chores is to clean the filters to make sure that all our hardware is working appropriately. We have um, hardware on board to do science experiments and in order to protect us 
uh, in our atmosphere that we're living in, we have this microgravity sciences glove box, and we can put an experiment inside, and it'll be fully contained, and we can vent any potential contaminants overboard and keep our environment safe and allow us to do some interesting experiments that we might not otherwise be able to do. Also, we care about the microbiological uh, organisms and fungal organisms that might be in our water and air and on our surfaces. And here's an, a sample of a water sample from one of our systems. And it's taken back to the earth and analyzed on the ground uh, in great detail. We also have the capability to do some water analysis on board looking for various different microbes counts, colony counts on board. We can also look at microorganisms that we've grown from various samples. For instance, this is a petri plate that had air run across it at a certain rate for a certain period of time, and we can count the colonies, that the number of colonies that grew on each petri plate. And some colonies grow specifically on plates that are for bacteria and other colonies are for fung fungi and so we can detect either bacterial or fun fungal contamination in our air which is good to make sure that you know uh, we can make that assessment on board the station we can also do on board assessments of the microorganisms um, that grow or fungal organisms that grow from on surfaces these are little petri plates that we touch to the surface that we are interested in knowing the microbial count for and uh, and after a few days of growing these uh, or incubating these uh, media plates then we can look and count the number of colonies that we have and then we send them back to the earth for more detailed analysis. So that's some of the ways that we take care of our space station and keep it clean up here on the International Space Station.